Never give up. I just unlocked something that I've been wanting to do for years. I'm a huge Twilio stan. If you haven't used Twilio before, it's amazing. You can buy a phone number and you can program it. You can receive texts, you can respond, you can make phone calls. It's super cool. And it's pretty magical what you can do with just like a few lines of code. And it's really magical when you do a demo of it live. Now I make videos like this one and I've always dreamed of using timing to create that Twilio experience when you can feel the magic in real time. And I've tried all sorts of different solutions, but I could never find the right one. That is until now. The latest primitive in the Cloudflare stack is exactly what I was waiting for, workflows. Here, let me show you what I built. So this is a repo here, and uh, it's in the notes. I have it here, I follow all the steps. There's a readme, I followed all of those steps. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to deploy this. So it's gonna go, it's gonna get pushed up to Cloudflare's global network. I'm gonna deploy this to region earth without even thinking about it. It's just gonna go up there. And now I am uh, gonna get this here. I'm gonna get this URL that it gives me. So it's this Twilio workflow. Twilio workflow, that sounds nice, doesn't it? I'm gonna grab that Twilio workflow video. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to my, um, my console here. This is my Twilio console, and this is uh, an active number that I've bought. This is the phone number here that I've bought. I'm gonna scroll down here to this messaging configuration, because this is how you configure it. I'm gonna go in the webhook field here, and I will paste that. I'm gonna say slash incoming. I'm gonna say when a message comes in, do a post. I'm gonna click save configuration. So now comes your part. Get your phone out and turn the sound on. And what I want you to do is I want you to text uh, this number that we just have here. So that number is 1-844-719-4175. There's a QR code here, actually. You can go ahead, if you take a picture of that, which I'll do, take a picture of that, uh, it'll automatically go into my messages app and I'm going to text it whatever. Uh, it, it says watching your video now, so I'm just gonna send that to it. Now, when you do that, Twilio will get the message. It will send a post to my app with information about the text. Let's check out my code. So I'm running a Hono app here, and I have this app.post to a uh, route called incoming. It comes in and it reads the body, and that body has some information about the message on it. Now what I'm gonna return here is Twimmel, or Twilio markup language, and that will uh, be the response that I give, and you'll see, you should have gotten a text back, I just did, that says this message was sent from a Cloudflare worker with an emoji heart there. You'll see that that's the Twimmel that I built, um, and, but before I did that, I kicked off this workflow. Um, this workflow, I did this create and I passed these params. And I passed an, uh, from the body, right? The body of the message that came in. The from, that's you. I'm gonna pass in two and the body as the content. And then I'm also gonna pass in the host. Uh, and then I'm going to return that response. So right away, this kicks off kind of asynchronously. It runs in the background. Then the response happens, and we'll see here that I pass in the twimmel that went, and I say that it's application XML, and the request response loop right there is done but my workflow is running. Now, if you haven't seen one of these before, they're pretty awesome. So let's go take a look. It's right here in the file. So there's this workflow here. It's coming in. Uh, you'll see that it gets a payload. I'm gonna pull that off and pull off the two of the host and the content that we did. And the very first thing that I do is I'm gonna do this step. I'm going to sleep for 123 seconds because uh, I'm trying to get the timing just right here. Uh, and then we're gonna come in here, we're gonna take a look. We're gonna have, we're gonna create a new client. So the new client where I can talk to the Twilio REST API. And I'm gonna build some more uh, Twimmel here. So this Twimmel, there's this say that does text to speech. And there's this play that I can use to actually play an MP3, which uh, I, I can also, you can notice that it's dynamic, right? I'm passing the content that you said. And then on this line here, I'm going to play a classic motivational quote that I love, just so that you can show off how clear these voices will sound. You'll be you'll be super impressed. And I'm hosting this uh, on Cloudflare. There's a there's a public folder here called Classic. This is a dynamic asset. So uh, the two here, that's that's you, because that you called me. The from is my Twilio phone number, and the Twimmel here is uh, the Twimmel that we passed in. Which, if my timing is right, your phone should be ringing right about now. Hey, here's mine. Here, I'll let you hear it. Hello from the Cloudflare workflow. You said test. Check out this classic. So I'm going to let you hear the classical motivational song yourself. Uh, uh, but wasn't that cool? Wasn't that super neat? But for some reason, if this step, if this step were to fail, like if the API were to say to let you down, the step would automatically retry. It's never 
going to let you down. It would automatically keep going. Now, I could configure the way that it retries as well and can even set it to exponentially wait before retrying. Pretty amazing. Give that a second to sink in. If you've been building apps like this, you've probably have this feeling. You have tasks that you need to go off and complete before you respond, but often you don't have enough time to do that in the request response loop. Most of those limit to about 10 seconds. Workflows helps here. It lets you get out of the way of the request response loop, but lets you stay in the flow. You also know how hard it is to schedule things. Workflows is great for this. And get this, it has access to the entire Cloudflare stack. Everything. We've got databases, transactional and vector DBs. We've got KV stores, real-time tools, and all the AI tools that you can imagine. Just waiting for you to integrate. What a powerful extension to your Twilio superpowers, eh? In my next video, I'll explore using workflows as a means of pushing AI chats to people instead of the user coming to the chat in a pull manner. I want to push to the user. Twilio is great for that. If you're looking for more Twilio content, check out their YouTube. There's tons of great videos there. I'll link to it in the notes. Thanks so much for hanging out, and we'll see you real soon.